Alan Mercer, woman died from nitrous oxide and immobility, inquest finds. A 24-year-old woman died from long-term complications stemming from her use of nitrous oxide and immobility, a coroner has ruled. Ellen Mercer died from a pulmonary embolism after inhaling two to three big bottles of the substance each day, an inquest heard. This case has highlighted how hugely dangerous it is to use nitrous oxide. A significant cause of her immobility and developing clots, senior coroner Heidi Connor said. The inquest heard a post-mortem examination report found Ms. Mercer's death to have been caused by bilateral pulmonary thromboembolism, deep vein thrombosis, and long-term complications of nitrous oxide use. She was said to have spent the previous two weeks unable to leave her bed because of her abuse of the substance. Ms. Mercer died in February last year after being admitted to hospital with a blister caused by a laughing gas canister stuck to her leg. She had become a habitual user of nitrous oxide and medics who tried to save her reportedly found features of neurological compromise. Subsequent tests showed nitrous oxide inhalation had resulted in Ms. Mercer developing serious circulation and breathing problems. Her fiancé Tom Bailey told that his bubbly, kind and caring partner would get through three to four canisters in one sitting. Her reactions became slower and her face would show discoloring and then it was all a build-up due to the burns. Then she was unable to walk, so then she was unable to go to the toilet, sit there and do all of the laughing gas in one go. It got to the point where she couldn't put it down. She'd have to finish it and then she'd want more. If she didn't have it, she wouldn't be happy without it, he said. Nitrous oxide itself is not addictive, told addiction specialist Chip Summers. He explained, psychologically and emotionally, it could certainly have an addictive trait to it. But you're not going to suffer withdrawal symptoms of a physical nature if you were to suddenly stop taking it. Mr. Summers is calling for better help for habitual users of the drug. He said, we should be taking the use of nitrous oxide extremely seriously as a social problem. Mr. Summers works with people who have stopped using nitrous oxide and said those clients are not problematic in terms of the physical withdrawal, but they are problematic as they're then left with all the unhappiness and dysfunction that probably made them start using something quite mind-altering in the first place, Mr. Summers added. The government last year banned the recreational use of nitrous oxide and dealers can now face up to 14 years in prison. At the time of the student's death possession of laughing gas with the intent of getting high was not illegal. Mr. Bailey said he is in favor of criminalizing users and has spoken out after his fiancé's death to warn others of the drug's severe consequences. But Mr. Summers says he does not think criminalizing is the way to go. These people are not criminals, he said. They are people who need help in criminalizing them and punitive fines and maybe even imprisonment is not going to actually solve the problem, 